Right, so hello and welcome. My name is Michael Jobody, and I'll be hosting this live stream today, as well as the award ceremony on the 25th to 26th of November. Welcome to the fourth edition of the Mirrorband UK Film Awards, powered by the Mirrorband Company and founded by our festival director, Jay Minari. The Mirrorband UK Film Awards, or MUFA, is a British London-based IMDb qualifying film festival focused on diversity in auteur movies. As a member of the Film Hub London and BFI fan, MUFA provides a spotlight for underrepresented, emerging, and experienced independent filmmakers through weekly live stream Q&A sessions, as well as with its in-person career expo and networking opportunities, and an exciting festival event taking place on the 25th to 26th of November at the Bromley Picture House Cinema. If you haven't done so yet, check out our festival tickets and VIP pass for the event and subscribe to our upcoming streaming platform, Stream Auteur, for which all the officially selected candidates of this edition and vote for your favorite, which will win the Best Film Audience Award. But let's get the ball rolling with our special guests. Please welcome Nathalie Lavillon and co-star Leno Abalansky from France, a finalist for Best International Short, finalist for Best Lead Actress with their film, 600 Grams. We also have our esteemed drama juror, Stephen Keat Mills on the call with us today. 600 Grams is another breathtaking diversity-driven story where a character named Eve has grown accustomed to living with an ample bosom, but she has reached her limit. Contemplating a breast reduction, she discovers that for the surgery to be reimbursed, a minimum of 600 grams must be removed. Let's take a look. Et on balance les pieds à l'arrière du tapis tout doucement. Voilà. Et on respire. Oh putain, je vais mourir étouffé dans mes propres chaussons. La nouvelle. On garde la position. Eve, je m'appelle Eve. Voilà un dossier qui vous explique tout. D'autres questions Euh le prix Vous savez que c'est remboursé. C'est remboursé La Sécu prend en charge si on retire au moins 600 grammes. Par ça Non, 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 600 grammes en tout. Je considère qu'à partir de 600 grammes, il euh, y a un problème médical, donc c'est remboursé. Great clip. So, Nathalie, it's a pleasure to have you on the live stream today, as well as, your, as, well as yourself, Lionel. For the audience listening, you are an accomplished actress and writer known for your work with Mr. Bean's Holiday, Bienvenue au Gite, and God is Great and I'm Not. Congratulations on all your successes and welcome to the live stream. How are both of you doing today? Good. Thank you. Thanks for having us. We're really happy to be here. Oh, super excited to have you. Love the film. And yeah, we were just chatting about it earlier as well, like the cinematography, the story, the character development, and the timing is honestly so great. So I guess to kind of start off, uh, what kind of impact were you, when you were you know, initially creating the film, did you have a specific impact that you wanted to create for your audience once they started you know, watching the film and when it was released? I, yeah, I wanted, I wanted the film to be a comedy. It's, it's the way I, I think and it's the way I express myself. So um, yes, I wanted I wanted it to be entertaining, but mm -hmm. I I have a really strong need to talk about feminist issues and and yeah on in my point of view, which is on not so young women, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things about the image, the body image of women that yeah that need to be talked about but 
with a very light feeling and with a yeah comedy is important to me yeah definitely i think it's really great what you've been able to do like balancing those two um to create that impact and also have yeah to your point like the comedic timing um i think you did a wonderful job uh, but yeah I'll, I'll you know hand it over to steven who's you know on the call today as our esteemed drama juror i'm not sure if steve if you have any questions for for both guests today oh sure i always have something <laughs> uh you know it's from the very start of watching the film i know as an audience that i'm in good hands i mean it's uh the performers are everything i think uh and natalie you really are a super actor uh, yeah, thank you. in terms of uh just assuring the audience that this is going to be a good ride uh i had no doubt and uh lionel i think uh you were a superb husband. Uh, and I'm sure that's true uh, on screen or off, uh, but it's it's very, I think you, you really captured a lot of comedy domestically, uh, as well as your, you know, overall message thematically. But I, I, like, I like the playing. I think the playing was just, Wonderful. How did how did you enjoy directing, and how did you enjoy putting together your married life on screen? <laughs> so first, I have to say it's not ex it's not my marriage life, although uh, Lionel and I are married in real life. But it's a fiction. I mean, if I had put my marriage life on screen, I'm very lucky to say that it would have been really boring because <laughs> you know you would boring. have found a way to make it yeah. funny. <laughs> well, it's funnier to show really problems and flaws and uh -huh. you know, difficulties. So, yeah. So I, 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 yeah. I started with, of course, I love Lionel as an actor, and I didn't think I would play the part actually uh, when I wrote it. But then I wrote a part that was so much like me. I just wanted to do it. But um, yeah, it's really fun to direct, especially, well, I don't know if it's fun, more fun to direct people you know, but yes, because I had a great freedom. We knew each other, the other actors in the film, most of them, I knew them before. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there was an immediate understanding. It was really fun. This is your first film as a director, uh, right, Natalie? Yes, yeah. I, I, I wrote, scripts before but I didn't direct them and yeah amazing I have to say I, I watched it um, two or three times um, in a row the first time and I normally don't google names of actors that I watch in films because I don't want to be biased I don't want to have any prejudice so uh, after we sort of expressed our votes uh, I actually looked it up and um, I found out uh, Lionel, uh, he was my Sholomo when I was a kid watching ah. the TV. I kind of had, uh, like, my heart jumped because um, I had great memories of that character. And I didn't first recognize you in this film. Um, but I have to say, yeah, even if the role was, um, uh, was definitely a fe female-led film, uh, your role is key in this in this story because it shows so much of uh, you know the understanding of the husband and at the same time how he feels connected to the issue. Um, so my question to you would be, um, how much uh, did you feel your character represents husbands in uh, you know in, in these kind of marriages? À quel point est-ce que ton, ton personnage représente vraiment les, les maris, les maris um, représentatifs des maris de ce I genre? I don't know if uh, it represents oh, les hommes en général. Uh, husbands in general. Les husbands in general. But uh, I think uh, je pense I can try in French. Ouais, ouais, je pense que pour uh, beaucoup d'hommes, ça peut être un problème. <laughs> think for many men, this kind of issue can be a problem. Ça peut être un problème, et c'est un problème difficile à avouer parce que c'est aussi une question de santé, mais que il y a un à côté. Uh, it's difficult to admit that it's a problem for men because it's, of 
a côté un peu comme des machos. Euh, yeah, there's a sort of yeah, yeah. macho thing in men. You, uh, you don't want to. And that was funny to 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 play it, and it was uh, his Lee uh, to play with, not Lee, but. Uh, I, I promise you, it's different than uh, our life. <laughs> it's not like that. Uh, no, uh, that discussion. No. It was. Uh, it's, it's fiction. It's <laughs> fiction. But I thought it was fun to show a, um, a couple of adults, of grown-ups, because most love films are about very young people. They're meeting, first meeting, romantic comedies, and and they're usually around 30 years old. And it's fun to show a couple that's. Yeah, that's older, and that's that's all right. They're they're okay. They're doing fine, but they've got problems and you know lots of issues too. Of course, I really enjoyed the role of the mother, to be honest as well. Uh, the way she was sort of pushing, and even the the, the daughter. Uh, it seems that they were biased by the way society has told them to think about you know men having a, a saying in this, and you you say you are the first concern because. It is first of all the issue of your character to find a balance with with your body and uh, to like your body. Actually, I wanted to say today is uh, World Menopause Day, so it's it's a great day to speak about this topic. I think, <laughs> Stephen, what did you want to say? No, I was just uh, thinking we we get two points of view on the issue, uh, and as as men, we don't usually think about it from the women's point of view. Uh, You know, we, we look at the breasts and we don't think what the woman with the breasts is thinking. Uh, so it's, uh, it is a cultural surprise for Lionel's character to lead the men in the audience to a new perspective. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and both of you did that. So uh, do you think you'll direct again, Natalie? Oh, I hope I will. Yes, I'm sure I will. I want to. I want to very much. Yes, I, I love the directing. I, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Do you have anything in writing of another comedy? Yes. I'm, I'm, yes, I have stuff I'm writing, but it, yeah, it's, it's very long. I'm writing a feature film, so it's, yeah, it's going to take a long time, I think. Was it difficult to find a producer for this? I mean, to... Well, yeah. I, mm, I was very, very lucky because I went to see uh, um, producers which I knew before and, um, well, they wouldn't have produced anything because I, I, I actually had sent them other scripts before and they had said no. And then they said yes right away and so it took a long time, of course, for them to find, you know, to finance the film. But no, it was pretty easy. I was really lucky in this film. Well, do you think this will help for the next one? I, I hope I hope it will. Yeah. I uh, yeah. France, Belgium, um, Portugal. And uh, Brazil? No, 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 France, Belgium, for now, so, yeah. And do you go to some of the festivals? Um, uh, yeah, for the moment, I've been to festivals in France, and it's great to see the film with a real audience mm. in a, yeah, in a big movie theater. It's a real, uh, really, really, yeah. So that must be... Okay pretty affirming. I mean, the audience response is obviously, it's a good Q&A afterwards, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, yes, there's a lot of questions and not just men, actually a lot of women aren't really aware of, you know, these kinds of problems. Um, actually, the, the women's bodies is such a subject of, you know, everyone has their opinion on it. And so, yeah, there's a lot to discuss. Definitely. I mean, it, it does stimulate conversation and uh, and it's also funny. So I, I guess you have a good greeting card for whoever is going to produce your next film. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> That's so awesome. But, you know, thank you so much, Natalie and Lionel, for your answers. I think it really helps us dive into the creative thinking process, the impact you're making and blending that with comedy. I think you did an amazing job. And we're super excited for the next set of films that you're that you're building, that you're making as well. You've heard it here first on, on your band. Uh, but with that, I just want to give a special thanks to both yourself, Natalie and Lionel for coming on and sharing your experience. Congratulations again on 600 grams, truly inspiring. And I know that you've inspired a lot of people on the call today. So with that, I'd like to just mention some very quick reminders for the audience. Uh, quick reminder, all shortlisted candidates will be available on our streaming platform from the 25th of October until the 3rd of December. And this is where you can vote for your favorite to win the best film audience award. How can you do that? Well, you can visit the MUFA website, click on films and streaming and subscribe to streamalter.com. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the award ceremony will take place at the Bromley Picture House Cinema on the 25th to 26th of, of November. And don't forget about the exciting career opportunities and networking events as well. You can get your tickets at Mirban UK Film Awards .co .uk. Thank you again, Natalie and Lionel and Stephen and Jay. Such an awesome call. Thanks for coming on today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.